In this video we're going to take a look at the Windows Home Server 2011 Server Backup and Restore functionality that this time is built in to Windows Home Server itself so you don't need an additional add-in. So if we click on Servers and Backups as you can see there's our server and as you can also see backup status is not set up and there's a warning because it's basically telling us and if we don't do server backups then our data is at risk. It's okay backing everything up to your home server but if you don't back up your home server itself then obviously you're relying on one box and if that fails you're in trouble. So if we click on server folders and hard drives you can see that all we've got at the moment is a C and a D drive which both reside on the same hard drive within the Windows home server. Now in order to use the server backup and restore features you actually need an external hard drive. So I'm just about to plug one in now. Right, I actually called my hard drive server backups and it's appeared as an F drive. Now that's all it is, it's a formatted um, external hard drive that I've just called server backups. So now if I click it, I can see over here under the tasks, I've got an add the hard drive to server backup. So I'm going to click that because that's what I want to do. Right, so now it's telling me that the wizard's going to help me set up and schedule routine backups of my server and data. So that's what we want to do, so let's click next. It's now found the drive, it's 112 gig external drive. If you can't see your drive, click refresh. If it's still not appearing, try unplugging it and plug it in again. So then click next. It's warning us that it's basically gonna format the drive and delete everything off there. So make sure you've copied everything off you want from that drive before you continue, so click yes. It's asking us to label it, so in this case I'm going to call it Server Backups, because that's what it is, and click Next. Right, this is where it gets more interesting. By default, the recommended action is to back up the server and folders twice a day. The first backup being at midday, the second backup being 11 o'clock at night. You can obviously change that to whatever you want. The second option is a custom backup, so basically you can select any time throughout the 24 hours of the day at 30 minute intervals. So you could have a backup done every hour, every 30 minutes if you really wanted to, once a day, five times a day, the choice is yours. So in my case, I'm just gonna select twice a day and click next. Then it's asking me what I want to back up. So in my case, I wanna back everything up because I want my server to be as secure as possible. So click next. It's just confirming what I've selected. So. There's my backup destination, server backups. It's going to back up both the operating system and the local disk. So as I say, this is new for Vale, being able to back up the operating system. Obviously couldn't do that before with version 1. We can now. So that's a really good new feature. Nothing isn't included because I'm including everything. And the backup scheduled for lunchtime and 11 o'clock at night. So I click Apply Settings. It's going to take a few minutes to set up the server backups. So do be patient while it does this. This is very similar to setting up your computer and doing backups on your computer. And that's it. The backup is set and the next scheduled backup will occur at 11 o'clock this evening. So I'm going to click close. As you can see the drive now appears under server backup. And my only option I've got here under task is to remove it or to view the hard drive properties. So let's have a quick look at the properties and it's telling me how much disk space I've got and if I wanted to check and repair it if there were problems. So now if I go back to the computers and backups tab, you'll see that the server is now set up under the backup status and I could choose to start a backup if I wanted. So let's go ahead and do that. Click start a backup. It's asking me if I want to start a backup for the computer, when well, in this case it's the server, but you get the idea. Click yes. It's now doing what you would expect. It's preparing the backup. Now this is the first time I've done a backup, so it's going to take longer the first time than the subsequent backups will do. So again, bear with me. And it's still preparing. 
And now it's started. As I say, depending on how much data you've got on your server and your attached drives will depend on how long the backup takes. In my case, I've got a single drive in there, no computer backups yet, no real data, just a little bit of test data. So this should be relatively quickly. And again, it will also depend on the speed of the external drive you're using, whether or not you're using uh, USB 2, USB 3, whichever. In my case, it's a bog standard USB 2 external drive. It's a couple of years old, it's quite slow. So I'm not really surprised it's uh, not speeding along. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the video so that you don't sit here and watch the whole thing while it's in progress. So if you actually notice the in progress bar jump rapidly, it's not a problem. It's because I've edited the video. You'll thank me later. And there you go, it's now finished and it's successful. Now if we double click on that, we can see that we've got a successful backup. And if we click on the view details, there we can see everything has backed up successfully. And that's all there is to it for server backups.